Have you ever wondered if the stochastic oscillator could help you become a profitable trader? Well, you're in luck. This deep dive will explore whether this indicator is profitable or if it will lead to trading losses. Traders absolutely love the stochastic oscillator indicator, but here's the surprising truth. Based on our analysis of 399 years of data, it should actually be avoided. Through extensive backtesting research, we analyzed the stochastic oscillator on various timeframes across DJ30 stocks over 12 years. This testing data is equivalent to 399 years of real-world data. Surprisingly, the results revealed some unexpected and disappointing findings. We were able to scientifically test the accuracy and success rate of the stochastic oscillator, along with its optimal settings. But first, let's understand what the stochastic oscillator is and how it works. Developed by George Lane in the 1950s, the stochastic oscillator is a popular technical indicator. It applies the principles of stochastics, which focus on probability and statistics, to analyze the momentum of asset prices in financial markets. The stochastic oscillator measures momentum by comparing the closing price of a security with its price range over a specified period. The indicator's values range between 0 and 100. Values above 80 indicate an overbought market suggesting prices may soon decrease and potentially signaling a sell opportunity. Conversely, values below 20 indicate an oversold market, suggesting prices may soon increase and possibly indicating a buy opportunity. Additionally, the stochastic oscillator can form crossovers, which provide further insights into potential buying or selling signals. Now, let's explore five trading strategies that utilize the stochastic oscillator. The crossover strategy in this case you are looking for crossovers between the K-line and D-line to signal long or short positions. Next the momentum strategy here you identify divergences and increases decreases in intensity between the K-line and D-line. The trend following strategy. Observing the relative positions and movements of the K-line and D-line to identify uptrends or downtrends. The momentum reversal strategy you try spotting divergences between the stochastic oscillator and price action to identify potential reversals. The breakout strategy. Entering trades when the security breaks out of its trading range, considering levels of support and resistance. After testing the stochastic oscillator on the Dow Jones 30 stocks over 12 years, we found that it is a weak indicator on candlestick and OHLC charts. Only 28% of stocks outperformed a simple buy and hold strategy using the stochastic oscillator, while 72% of long-term investors achieved better results. So, while traders love the stochastic oscillator, our extensive testing and analysis suggest that it should be approached with caution. Always remember to conduct thorough research and consider alternative indicators to make informed trading decisions. Free and pro investing courses, strategies and original research at liberatedstocktrader.com.